Hey everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video on MX Tutorials. Well, by popular demand, we're going to do an end dynamics video today, and I'm going to show you guys how you can create condensation drops on a beer bottle, Coke can, and whatnot. All right, here we go. This video has been made possible by Luxion, the creators of Keisha. Okay everybody, so we're in May 2019 and we're going to be talking about condensation drops. Now uh, there are a number of ways you can do this in Maya 2019. You can use a mesh network, you can use default instancing, but in this case I'm going to use the end particle system because I've been asked uh, several times to do more end particle videos, right? So that's what we're going to do. So of course we're going to need a surface. We're going to need a Coke can or a bottle or a glass of soda or whatnot. But we're going to represent uh, our surface by simply just creating a, um, a plane, right? So in your modeling menu, click on plane. There you go. We'll hit R, scale it up a bit. Hit E to rotate it. Hold on J and flip it up like this. So imagine that this is a little section of your can or your bottle or whatnot, right? Okay. So now that we have that, what we need to do is we need to emit end particles from this surface. Now, how do you do that? You can select this guy. We're going to make sure we're in our FX menu. We're going to go up to our end particles menu, and we're going to go to emit from object. Now we're going to open up the option box. Go to edit and reset. Make sure we're all on the same page. And what we're going to do next is we're going to change the emitter type from Omni to uh, surface because we want it to come out of the surface and we're going to set the speed to zero because otherwise the particles are going to be flying all over the place right so we're going to hit zero on that we're going to hit create we're going to go into our animation slider let's set this to let's say 600 or so right and let's hit uh, play and see what happens okay and hopefully you can see this we have inner particles falling straight down from the surface okay so we're not there yet. We're gonna jump back to frame one and we don't want them to fall down anymore. So we're gonna to go to our outliner. We're gonna open up in particle one. We're gonna hit control A to open up the attribute editor, all right? And what we wanna do is kill the gravity on that. So you need to look at the dynamic properties under end particle shape one right here. And if you go down uh, to the right section, it says, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see ignore solver gravity right there so we're going to click on that we're going to jump back to frame one we're going to hit play and now instead of uh, end particles falling straight down they start to form on the surface which is kind of neat okay cool all right now the thing is this what if you want to have a little bit more control over your uh, condensation drops uh, where they are how big they are and so forth well in that case you need to plug in a texture file now, in order to get a texture file that's gonna work, we have to jump into Google. So I'll just show you, here we go. And here in Google, I simply typed in water drop texture and search for images. Now, if we scrub through these, there's one down here that's black and white. Now, for you to use this in Maya, it has to be black and white, and the white has to represent the drops, and the black is the area where there are no drops. So I downloaded this guy. It's 500 by 524 pixels. It's a free file, so you can just use that, okay? So we're gonna use that in Maya. We're gonna jump back. There we go. And we need to plug that into our emitter. So we're gonna go to our emitter tab, and we're gonna scrub down. And down here it says uh, emit texture rate, okay? And then here's the texture rate. So we're gonna click on this and we're gonna go in and we're gonna select file. We're gonna go to folder. We're gonna bring this in. We're gonna look for the file that we use and click open. Now, one thing that's very important right now is if you plug in a texture file like that on a surface like this, you need to make sure that your object is UV'd and that the texture is a good fit. For example, if I had a sphere here and I put this on, uh, these, uh, the whole area would be distorted and whatnot. So we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna go to our modeling menu, we're gonna go to UV, UV editor, and you can see by default, because it's a square, it's a UV'd, and if not, you have to do that. So if it isn't for whatever reason, just go up to UV, automatic projection, and then UV, UV editor, and there you go, right? So this is all set. We have our uh, texture plugged in. 
we're going to jump back to frame one and we're not quite there yet but i'll show you because now if i hit play you see particles uh, formed but it's not going very fast that you don't see a lot of them right now in the self it's okay all we can do is this we're going to jump back to frame one we're going to go back to our uh, in particle system and we're going to increase the output so if we go to emitter and we scrub all the way back up it says rate particles per second is a hundred thousand let's set that to let's say five hundred thousand okay now now we should be all set so we're going to go and have a closer look and we're going to go in and we're going to hit play okay and as you see we're now starting to get end particles on our uh, surface here and they're grouping in a way that simulates the texture file and if we wait long enough you'll see how that is happening right and what i'll actually do here is i'll just increase the frames here so we can have that play out a little bit so you can see that it's actually using the texture file that we plugged in right so we'll give it a second And it's starting to mimic that texture file exactly. Now, uh, if you want to have your uh, particles bigger or whatnot, of course, you can adjust the size. You can even adjust the shape. Uh, but this worked out for me quite well. So, um, yeah, that's basically all there's to it. Now, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you don't want to miss out on future videos, uh, please do so. And that said, thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.